Certain technological breakthroughs have a way of making our lives seem more like science fiction than reality. Think about the first time you ever used a smartphone or saw somebody use Microsoft's Xbox Connect. All of a sudden, the future was happening kind of right now. These giant leaps have already changed the way we work and communicate. The next step, if a few startups have anything to say about it, is going to be how we take care of our bodies. We soon may be able to diagnose ourselves using tiny sensors and the computing power that's already in our hands. One company called Scanadu is developing a handheld sensor that you will hold to your forehead to get your temperature, your heart rate, your blood oxygen level, and other data points. The sensor will then send all of that data via Bluetooth to your smartphone, which can share the data with you or email it to your doctor. Another company, Cellscope, has developed a mobile accessory called the Odo, which turns your phone's camera into a sort of ear scope. Put the Odo in your kid's ear, send the video to your kid's doctor, and you may be able to get that ear infection diagnosis and, more importantly, that antibiotic prescription without even leaving home. A third outfit, Mobisant, has developed a smartphone-based ultrasound machine. It costs less than $8,000. A standard ultrasound rig will run you well into the six figures. Already, it's being used in developing nations to provide more accurate diagnoses. Now, there are some skeptics out there. Medical devices are incredibly complicated, they scream. You can't just put a little sensor on somebody's body and get accurate data, they implore. And in some cases, they may be right. These products are works in progress, but the improvements seem to be inevitable. Think about it this way. Ten years ago, we barely knew what a smartphone was, and now we're talking about driverless cars. If you look at the history of the future, one thing seems clear. It's happening faster.